Hey everyone, Sam from United People's TV here in association with Bet Victor to preview the biggest game of the weekend, Leicester against Manchester United, first against second in the Premier League. I'm not sure anybody would have predicted that at the start of the season, but it is what it is. Jamie Vardy is equaled Ruud van Nistelrooy's consecutive goal scoring record in the Premier League, comes into the game having scored in his last 10 games. Fair play, Jamie Vardy. Um, and knowing full well that if he scores against United, he's beaten Van Nistelrooy's record. So the added spice of you know, Van Nistelrooy's record, we're second, they're first. We've got the best defence in the league, they've got the best attack in the league. Everything's looking like it's going to actually be quite a good game. I mean, looking back at the last six times that Leicester have come up against Man United, we've got a great record. They've only won once, and that was the 5-3 at the King Power Stadium. Other than that, we've won all five. Obviously, skipping back to last year, we lost their 5-3, and that was a really turning, real big turning point for us. And everyone's on the Jamie Vardy bandwagon, but I remember Jamie Vardy's dive in that game against United after Raphael nudged him, he went down, they scored the penalty, and we all know what happened after that. So I'm not forgetting that, Jamie Vardy. What do I think about the game? I think Leicester are very vulnerable in defence, but the problem is that United are a bit crap in attack, let's be honest. Um, We've only conceded nine goals this season, I think. Eight or nine goals in the Premier League. That's our strength. But we're going up against, you know, Vardy's scored nearly 50% of Leicester's goals. Mahrez has got seven. They're looking pretty good going forward. I, I honestly don't know which way this is going to go. I suppose it depends what sort of United turns up. If the United turns up that played at Everton away and we spanked them 3-0, Leicester haven't got a chance. If the United turns up that played at Arsenal away, that won't be pretty for United because... Oh, let's be honest, Arsenal humiliated us that day. Um, I mean, the good, the, good news is, sorry, the good news is we've got Wayne Rooney back from injury, Anthony Martial back from injury, and Fellaini's back from injury as well. Schweinsteiger could play. He didn't train on a Tuesday, but Van Hal said that he doesn't necessarily mean he's not fit. Uh, Phil Jones is out, and Ander Herrera is out. That's a bit of a blow. Probably both of them is a bit of a blow. Going into the game, Leicester in good form. You know, they've, they've won their last, what, three games? Um, United haven't lost in the last three games, but we had the pretty miserable nil-nil draw against Crystal Palace. But something changed for United at the weekend. We've had, you know, we've had a two-nil comfortable win over West Brom. Nobody got excited. We had a last, a late winner against CSK in Moscow, one-nil. Nobody got excited. That two-one win over Watford at the weekend was the first time since 2012 that Man United have scored a winner in injury time. So the fear factor is coming back at United. You saw on that goal at the weekend what it meant to the club, what it meant to Schweinsteiger. We've got a 31-year-old World Cup winner, won the Champions League, won the Bundesliga multiple times, moved to a new club, and he, he reeled away like, like he just got a new toy at Christmas. He was, he was overcome with joy. Um, Lingard was alongside him, who was an academy graduate. It was just, it was romantic. Um, and United haven't had that. We've, we've lost that spark in that last 10 minutes, and that was always our greatest asset that even if United were down and out in a game on paper, we could always put it out of the bag in the last 10 minutes. Now, I've, because I've been seeing how, we, how fans have been talking the whole season, I've, there's a, been a noticeable difference since that Watford game. There's a bit of a buzz coming back around, and it's amazing what one late goal can do. You can get all your boring nil-nils and your, all your boring one-nil wins the whole season, but nothing sparks excitement like a last-minute winner. And going into the Leicester game at the weekend, obviously we've got PSV before the Leicester game. That could change things, you know, hopefully we'll win there, but that's kind of irrelevant. The big game is that Leicester game at the weekend, and I personally think that Jamie Vardy's done very well, but he's been playing Newcastle, West Brom, Watford. He's now going to come up against the Premier League's best defender and the Premier League's best goalkeeper, and we've conceded nine goals. He hasn't come up against that. When he did, Arsenal 1-5-2. I'm pretty confident about it. I don't think Leicester have faced enough good teams. They've, they've, they're confident, yes, but they're going into a run right now where they've got Man United, Everton, City, Liverpool. They've got a very, very tough fixture period coming up this Christmas. And if we can stop Vardy, you stop the Leicester train. Obviously, Van Nistelrooy is going to be in the crowd with his laser pen you know, in Vardy's eye, especially if he gets a penalty. He's going to make sure he doesn't score. But let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you think United are going to win this game? Obviously, head over to Bet Victor for their weekender show. We'll see, we're talking with Robbie from Arsenal Fan TV, Paul from Redmen TV, and James from Ball Street. 
We have a look at the whole weekend. We look at hot shots. We look at bowl predictions, match predictions. It's the most fun and most entertainment you're ever going to have on YouTube. So you've got to watch it. So head over there and hopefully United win this weekend. Gone for White Matter because I think somewhere along the line, whether in Martial, Memphis, I think we're going to get a penalty. And Matter's on our penalties right now. No? <laughs> 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 <laughs>